Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, I mean, I am a comic, been doing it many, many, many years, almost 20 years now, and the entire time that I did my comedy, I am, as I came out on stage, out of the closet years ago, and admitted that I'm a Christian. <laughs> I admitted it to the whole world. And yet, even when I started in comedy many, many years ago, I was always a Christian, but I was in comedy clubs, and so I never used any uh, curse words. I've always been curse-free, never used any gratuitous sexual references, because I've always felt that uh, creativity is funnier than crude, and I always wanted to use words that were just normal words that could create laughter. That's the way I've always been. And as a Christian, it was just not something I was allowed to do. You know, Christians grow up, we're not supposed to curse, and that's good. That's good that you watch your mouth. But the problem is, it slips out now and again, because you're human. Human. And sometimes we don't even give ourselves that much. See, that's the point I'm trying to make. I wish we were more real to people that don't believe like us. Maybe they'd actually find us interesting and compelling because we're f real with them. Because the truth of the matter is, it's not fair that we don't have curse words. <laughs> Christians should have their own curse words. Because I don't care how holy you are, you slam your hand in a car door, something's coming out of your mouth. That's just the way it is. And for some reason, a curse word feels like just the right man for the job. I don't know what it is about slamming your hand, but ouch, just doesn't cut it. For some reason, it's that curse word that makes it feel like it's beginning to heal. See, that's the thing that people forget. That's the natural part of, of our life that I believe in. You see, we spend our lives trying to watch our mouth because it's natural to curse. Nobody has to learn to curse. You have to learn how not to. She knows. <laughs> this woman curses like a sailor, I'm telling you. <laughs> she can't curse enough. I mean, her friends don't even want to sit next to her half the time. She's a lunatic. Got a great laugh, though. What's your name? Sandra Ford. Sandra Ford? Forrester. Forrester. She's mad at me, like I should have known. <laughs> Forrester, you idiot! Don't you have a dossier in all the people that enter your room? <laughs> Sandra Ford, you live here in Lake Forest? Lake, For Lake Forest? <laughs> Forest Lake? Forrester? Lake? Lake Jackson. I don't know. I'm at, I'm at a new place. Give me a break, will you, lady? I don't know where I am. See, you live here. You already got it down. You live here your whole life? 30 years. What do you do? Oh, God bless you. Home provider for Down's children. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. So you got kids. They made you want to throw out a few curse words now and again. Don't be talking to me any different. Am I right? Yes. Of course I'm right. We got to watch our mouth. It ain't easy. That's what I'm talking about because it's natural. It's natural to curse. Man, it's so natural to curse. So natural to curse. We even invented a hand signal. So if I'm cursing you in the car, I can let you in on it. <laughs> That's what we did. We decided that the middle finger meant I'm cursing you. We just made that up. I feel sorry for the middle finger. Never did anything wrong. Big, strong, big, long finger. We decided you're the curse of Cain. We could have chosen any of the fingers, just the middle one for some reason. Why all the other fingers, as a matter of fact, mean good things. Number one. Could have made this a bad finger, but we said no, they'll make it a good one. Number one, you're number one. Thumb, like, hey, don't kill the gladiator. You know, good stuff. Stop cars. Hey, can I take a ride? Stop in a car. Add a little finger. Oh, hang loose. Oh, lose the thumb. Hey, can I have some tea? I guess. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Every finger means something because we choose to let it mean something. Third finger. I don't know what this one is. This is kind of like I'm cursing you, but I'm dyslexic. I guess. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know. We make it up. Your middle finger isn't bad. We chose to decide it was. Of course, sometimes I get angry and I have to watch myself trying to be a good Christian boy. Somebody cuts me off in traffic, you know, I want to give him the old finger, not allowed to. I figured it out, though. I just give him the whole hand. Hey! Guess!
That way I can get out of it. Hey, you cursing me? No, I'm saying you're number one, man. What's the deal? It's hard. But see, it's about words, and words are important. I believe in words. I believe words are very important. But, but, sometimes we make them bad that actually weren't. You know, Jesus used words that we wouldn't allow to be said in church. You know that? Jesus. He called a bunch of Pharisees once a generation of vipers. A generation of vipers. What does that mean? Son of a snake. That's exactly what it means. Sons of snakes. You're a son of a snake. We have a similar turn in the United States of America. <laughs> we do. We can call somebody a son of a dog. Now, if you don't think it's a curse word, at least it's an insult, saying you come from an animal. So now we got a problem. Either Jesus cursed, making him a sinner, which means he's not God, or sin isn't always what we think it is. Christianity isn't as black and white as we've tried to make it. We got to remember our bar, our Bible's filled with words that you wouldn't say to a kid. It's filled with concepts that you wouldn't want to say to a child, because it's for adults too. The Christians got to quit acting like a bunch of babies that can't think and sugarcoat everything. We got to sugarcoat everything. Sometimes life is rough. One of the great things about my faith, one of the great things about Christianity, one of the reasons I'm a Christian is because it's the only religion that would have me. Because you don't have to do anything but believe in God. I love that. I love the one religion that was honest enough to look at humans and go, you stink. <laughs> Come on in. You need that kind of God, man. I, I couldn't have done any of the other religions because they had all these rules. That's all they know is rules. You know, hey, I'll join your religion. No bacon. I'm out. I'm out. What kind of a God would deny a man a BLT? You're crazy. I'm out. No, 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 no. That's why I like about Christianity, man. It's completely unique and different. Let's me in the game, even though I don't deserve to be in the game. I'm proud of that.